What is going on everyone and thank you so much for checking out my channel. My name is Jossie Lin Jay. For those who are new here, welcome. We get pretty creative over here. I do everything from sneaker reviews, tech reviews, cinematic videos, and daily vlogs. But before we get started, if you haven't already, it'd be super dope if you could smash that subscribe button. There should be an arrow popping up right now to show you where you can click the button at. So, for those who have a $500 budget and you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel but you don't want to break the bank on a camera, this is a perfect video for you because I was that same person about five months ago. I already have an iPhone and it shoots really nice video, but I wanted to take my vlogging experience and my YouTube video experience to another level. So I decided to buy the Sony A5100, which is a part of Sony's amazing Alpha series. I was lucky enough to buy this camera for $367, which is actually about $133 less than that $500 mark, and that was including the lens. However, the reason why I was able to buy that camera or buy this camera at such a low price is because I bought it open box at Best Buy. And for those who don't know what open box is, it basically means the cam, the whatever item you're trying to purchase, specifically at Best Buy, I know that they do this, I'm not sure about other retailers, but if an item was on display or somehow the box was open, or maybe it's missing a part, like for example, my camera was supposed to be missing the micro USB cable, but it wasn't. So I really just got lucky and just got a brand new camera for $367, opposed to like $600 regular price. Unfortunately, I've seen on Best Buy that the price has gone up about $100, but it still leaves you at that under $500 price with the body and the lens. What I love about this camera is it has automatic autofocus, which is really nice when it comes to vlogging. It also has this amazing flip up screen and I'm gonna be showing you what the camera looks like while I'm talking about the camera. But right now I'm shooting on the Sony A5100. As you can see, I have it on aperture setting. So everything out is pretty much blurred out and the focus is my face. I'm currently shooting on 20 at 24 frames per second, but there is also 60 frames per second if you want to shoot slow-mo. Another thing I love about this camera is the creative style. So you have a vivid, you have a standard, and a portrait and landscape mode. I typically like to shoot on standard to make the camera footage as neutral as possible when I go back and color grade. Also, this camera does have touchscreen, but the touchscreen is only for when you're trying to autofocus. Otherwise, there are these small little menu buttons in the bottom right corner that allow you to navigate throughout the interface. One really nice feature and surprisingly unique feature that this camera has because Sony has kind of gone away from having flip out screens is that this camera has a flip out screen. So when you go up to the Sony A6000, A6300, and A6500, and even all the way up to the A7R2, you don't have a flip up screen and that's a big inconvenience when you're trying to be a YouTuber or a vlogger. This camera has solid battery life, about 75 minutes until the battery is exhausted. I haven't ran into too many times where I've ran out of battery life while filming. Also, there is this really cool feature where you can interchange the lens and that is super key, especially when you're trying to get different type of videos, cinematic videos, or further away shots. But I promise I won't bore you with the specs of this camera. Let's get to some video. and vlogging and thank God for this flip up screen because I can actually see myself. It's super convenient because I wouldn't know if my head was cut off or not or what's actually in the frame. And another thing I like about having a camera just in general instead of my iPhone is I feel more comfortable vlogging in person and just vlogging in general. For some reason, videotaping myself selfie mode on the iPhone is it's kind of weird. Now I shot some, some footage using an iPhone for this video, but that was really just to capture what this camera looks like and how to use it. But I love this camera, the quality is amazing. And if you're on the fence about what camera to get, I'm not trying to be biased, but I think this is the perfect camera if you're starting your YouTube channel. 
so there you all have it i hope the video footage was helpful and this is an amazing camera honestly it really is a still if you can get it or if you can just get a vlogging camera under 500 dollars of this caliber so if you want to make that transition from smartphone vlogging to a starter camera or just not even vlogging at all and just diving into vlogging with a new camera i would totally go with the sony a5100 it's really the best camera out there for this price one thing i almost forgot to mention is make sure you have a lens cap obviously this camera isn't as fragile as your smartphone however it can be fragile if you're dropping it on a hard surface so make sure you have a lens cap to protect that lens of yours but that's really all i have and thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video if you're still here give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment and i'll see you all later have a blessed week Peace.